Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today we are doing patriotic decor. Um, we are part of a collaboration again, and it is with Sunflower Tasha DIYs. And I have the blessing of being the co-host on this one. So I will leave the uh, so, uh, Tasha's link in the description box along with the playlist for the the collab definitely go check out everybody's channels and their er, and their videos give a like comment subscribe share it helps all of our channels grow um, so that we can our content gets put out there more so with this one, I'm making kind of a wind chime. I used the Cashew by Waverly, Ocean by Waverly, and um, the Matte Finish Mod Podge. So I got these um, graphics. I think I got, I get it design bundles. I think I got it from design bundles. Some of them I created in um, Canva and some of them I got from design bundles. So, and I don't remember which. It's kind of been a, a long week because I've got two collabs this week. So I've been kind of busting tail and lost track of where I got everything. But I printed this one out on regular paper. And because this is cor um, corrugated, so to speak, it's got the ripples in it. Um, I'm taking and putting the Mod Podge just in a couple spots, getting you know that part secure, rubbing it down, making sure it goes in the little grooves, and just step by step doing a couple at a time to make sure that I get it securely down. Um, I don't make you watch me do the entire thing because uh, it takes me a little bit. I'm trying to make sure that everything is exactly where I need it to be. So then I turned around and after I got it down, I went around the edges with the Mod Podge and then I set it aside and let it dry. I don't know, overnight, maybe two nights. I don't know. It was cut. It was a while. Um, it was good and dry by the time I put the top coat on it and I used the matte Mod Podge to do the top coat too. <clears throat> but um, yeah this one I, I'm excited to, to be doing this, um, this playlist. In the past I haven't done a whole lot of patriotic decor because I'm always behind the game. I don't get inspired until like two weeks before whatever holiday um, and then end up behind the game and never get anything done. So these collabs are keeping me on track where I'm getting stuff done a little bit sooner. So I took some of these mason jar lids and used the Waverly Cashew. I painted all of them with the Cashew. You can see here I kind of had I must have had oil some oils on my fingers still had to kind of clean it up a little so the paint would stick I'm not making you watch me paint every single one of these so this particular project um, now those the graphics I got for those I definitely got off of design bundles I think I got the barn off of designbundles.net as well but I'm taking and I've got some little farm animal graphics there and I don't make you watch me put all of those on either but I use the matte Mod Podge again and put each of them on there. So I took a ring, one of the rings, and painted it blue. And here I am taking beading wire and crimp beads and I put, and I 
cut out a lot of this. Normally I would keep it in there so that you could see each step, but it's been a while since I've worked with any beading stuff and um, it was a little bit of a struggle. And it just with this collab and having five videos in here, I just, I didn't want to have the video extremely long. If y'all want to see the whole process, let me know in the comments and I'll do a separate video of just that with the process. Um, you can watch me struggle. <laughs> but anyway, when you're doing these, um, you take and you put like the crimp bead on, you run your your wire through the hole in the thing and then you run it back up through the crimp bead and slide it down nice as tight as you can get it and use the crimping pliers. There's two sections in that um, in the crimping pliers. The first one is to cinch it down and then the other one is to kind of round it around it, you know, itself so that it's not like a flat funky looking thing because there's um, you can also get like the little covers that go over those crimp beads that makes you know when you're making jewelry that that makes it look a little bit neater than just having that crimped bead there so what I did was I did one on the top uh, to hang it by I did one a little bit tighter across the bottom and then I took three from the one on the bottom strung it down and put it on the ring and then I put um, did four more down from the ring to attach these two and with this um, I hot, hot glued them on the back um, I couldn't find my drill bits I would have drilled a hole but I couldn't find my drill bits so and I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do to cover up the back of these but I hot glued them used some uh, painters tape on the back and I've been thinking about how I was going to do it. I'm probably going to take and paint four more of them and put graphics on them and smoosh them together. But you'll see more, uh, you'll see the finished project in the final reveal. So now with this one, I've got this um, mason jar thing and I lost the footage of me painting it <laughs> evidently um so what i did was i painted it with the ocean and then i put school glue on it and then immediately went over with the cashew when you do that to do the uh, crackle effect with the um school glue you need to take one um decent swipe with the paint make sure you have plenty on your paintbrush you don't want to keep going back over the same area with the paint um, over the school glue and you do this while the school glue is wet there's I've got other videos that uh, that I've done that in that you can um, go back and and watch if you want to see the whole process on that so this is another one um, that I got off of design bundles and I used regular paper for this one too, the printer paper. And I'm just taking and wetting it around the side. For some reason, when I did these to print them out, I sized this one bigger than I needed. It still worked, but um, it, it's, yeah, it still worked. It's just uh, a little bit bigger than what I was originally going for but I took the and wet around the edges um, with my paintbrush and just kind of tore it away so that it would help me kind of blend it in a little bit the paper is white so it's not going to blend it as well with the cashew paint but I did kind of fix that um, as I went along well, I thought this one was really cute with the cowboy boots and the hat and it says barn in the USA so that's I thought it was kind of a, a cute little thing there and as you can see I'm just kind of I keep fiddling with it I didn't want to take off too much the first time around and then I didn't take off enough so I had to go back around it tear some more away no big deal
I just want to take a minute and say, you know, thank you to my subscribers that watch my content on a regular basis. Um, it means the world to me. And I'd love for any of you that are coming in from the playlist, let me know that you came in from the playlist and I would love it if you would subscribe and all of the likes, comments, shares, they all help our, our my channel grow. Please do the same for all the others on the playlist. Um, if you like the content, subscribe, share, like it, you know, comment. All of us, we get, you know, we get do these collabs and, and do all of it. This is, this is something that we all are passionate about and love doing. Um, I do have a full-time day job, but I have my crafting business as well. Um, I do the, the videos on YouTube. I've got a website. I'm on Etsy. I'm on Go Imagine. And um, we're also in a painted tree in Franklin, Tennessee. So it, it just, it's just something, you know, most of us that do this, we do it because we love it. But there's people out there that like to watch and learn and, you know, so liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that helps YouTube push it out, um, helps the algorithm push out our videos so that more people can see. So here I'm, <coughs> oh, pardon me. So here I'm taking and placing that on there and I'm doing it a little at a time to make sure that I don't wrinkle it, at least with the, with the printer paper, it's a little more forgiving. You don't get quite as many wrinkles and whatnot in it when you're, um, it's not as easy to saturate as a napkin is. So um, I'm just getting that nice and smooth down on there. And I set it aside overnight and let that get good and dry. Um, and then I went back in with the matte Mod Podge and covered it, um, put a layer over it to seal it. And here, now I'm taking some of the Waverly Antique Wax and just kind of going around and using it to help blend that in um, with the, the background because like I said, the, the paper was white and I wasn't thinking when I used the cashew paint, but I got it. It worked. <laughs> I thought this turned out really cute and um, yeah, I just, I thought this one turned out really cute. Here I'm trying to figure out, I had thought about wrapping a twine around the top there and then I was like, nah, that's not going to work right. So I just did like a little bow, a um, little shoestring bow and put it on there. And then I also put a couple of um, little flowers on there. And as you can see, the, the twine was not being very um, cooperative. So I just kind of dipped my fingers in, some, in my water that I had over there for my paintbrush and just wet it a little bit so that it would cooperate a little better. So I took um, two of these little red flowers and one of the little blue ones and just um, kind of put a little cluster up there just, just to add just a little pop of something. I didn't want to go too overboard with it because I didn't want to do anything that was going to take away from the graphic. Um, and I thought this, uh, the flowers up there were kind of cute, added just the right little touch there. So I'd love it if you let me know um, in the comments which one of these projects were was your favorite. See? Now that one's finished, you'll see more uh, with the final reveal.
So, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, and when I do, I'm going to do a giveaway. All of these, um, all of this stuff here is some craft supplies that I was um, blessed with. And my own stash is already over the top, but I'm not going to turn down free craft supplies. But I'm also, with that giveaway, um, I'm going to share some of the wealth with um, with you subscribers. So, you know, definitely if you, you know, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, once I hit a thousand, I will be doing at least one giveaway, but I've got a lot of stuff there that I can pick through for, so I'll probably do more than one, but I'm definitely doing one giveaway at, at a thousand. So just share, uh, if you have friends that might like the content, um, that, you know, share with them as well so that I can pick up some more subscribers. Help me get to that thousand and we'll do a giveaway of, of random craft supplies. So here I took and uh, I didn't make you watch me go through and cut and tear all of the, the fabric strips. Um, but I'm doing like a kind of a rag flag so to speak and I cut and tore um, some of them I could it wouldn't the fabric wouldn't tear like I wanted it to so some of them I had to actually go in with my rotary cutter and cut but I just tied them on <clears throat> uh, this wooden dowel where they would hang down and don't worry I don't make you watch me tie all of them on here either <laughs> with five uh, projects in this particular um, video I cut a lot of stuff out but I let you, you know, watch me tie a couple of them on there and then I moved on to the next step I had seen this one is this one was inspired um, by another youtuber that I, I saw the video probably a year or two ago and I, it, this isn't an exact of what sh uh, she did and for the life of me I went back through and I tried to find the video so I could link it in here so that she got credit um, but I couldn't find uh, I watch so many of the YouTube videos especially now that I'm part of these collabs because we all support one another so um, I just I couldn't find the video <laughs> um, so it, it was in it was in the back of my mind I had intended to do this when I ran across it you know I had intended to do something similar to it but anyway I took, after I got all of those tied on there, I took um, a denim pocket and put it on, um, glued it on there as you can see. And here I'm just painting um, this star white. I'm going to put it on the pocket. And then, um, and if any of you are watching and you've seen that video that inspired this, Drop it in the comments, um, either the, the link for the video or at least um, the creator if you know, you know, if you've watched it. Um, I know that a lot of us that do the YouTube, we support one another and watch one another. Um, so it very well may be somebody who's in this collab that inspired it. But I honestly, I cannot remember. I could not find it. I went through a bunch of my previous watch uh, videos trying to find it so anywho um, so I have the pocket on there um, now I'm tying twine on the ends of each and I tied it and then kind of wrapped it a, a couple of times around to make sure that it stayed good and secured just gave it a couple wraps around and glued it make sure that it stayed in place now 
Now the, the video that inspired this, she had longer fabric and actually made, um, hers was more flag looking where the, the pocket or the, you know, denim was, I don't even know, I don't know if she did a pocket, but I think she did denim up in the corner and then, so it looked more like a actual flag. Um, this one, my fabric wasn't long enough to, to do it exactly like she did, but that's okay. I didn't want to be exactly like, um, you know, I don't mind taking inspiration from other creators for, um, ideas and whatnot, but I don't like to copy them exactly because that's their, their thing. Um, I like to put my own twist on it and make it my own. And, you know, that's, that's kind of the, that's part of the fun of crafting. You know, if you see something that somebody else has done that inspires you, put, um, going in and putting your own twist on it and doing your own thing with, you know, an inspiration, that makes it more fun than just copying, copying them exactly. So I took, um, some of these flowers, uh, I got all of the florals that I'm using here. I think all, all of them that I used in this video are from Dollar Tree. And I had to be sparing because I didn't think about it when I picked them up. Um, Cause some of these ideas I did, I hadn't, when I was shopping and picking up the flowers, I got more ideas after the fact. So I had to be a little bit sparing with some of the things that I was doing with the florals to make sure I had enough. But I didn't want to overdo with the florals anyway. Um, a lot of these, you know, these projects are, um, you know, I, the florals are just an accent in there. They're not meant to be the, the main attraction, so to speak. So here I'm just kind of fiddling with it, trying to tweak it and get it the way I wanted it, um, where it showed off the florals the best. And then I took and, and sorry, you can't really see it. It's just long enough that it's hard to get it where you could see it, but you'll see it in the final reveal, um, finished. I took a little bit of hot glue, stuck it in the back to hold that in place so it doesn't fall the flowers in place so they don't fall out now we're on to diy number four we're just moving right along here um so i've got the i've got a couple of these um tobacco baskets i've got a couple of the red ones and a couple of the um i think they're white or natural i think they're white um me and my business partner Dee. Dee most of the time we are, are definitely like-minded <clears throat> in our crafting and our, um, and especially like when we go into a craft store or Dollar Tree or, you know, wherever that we might see craft supplies. But, um, so I had a few, I had a couple of them that I had picked up at one point and then next thing I know, She's like, oh, here, I got these, you know, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, we already had some, but that's okay. This is why, this is why my stash is so crazy. I have multiples of so many things because I'll be, I'll go to Dollar Tree, stop in for something or whatever and see this, that, or the other thing. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. Got to get, you know, grab it before it's gone because you know, that's the way it is at Dollar Tree. You got to grab it before it's gone. Um, and I'll grab one or two of them. And then a couple days later, you know, she'll, she, uh, she does our, I work in a law office and she also does our, uh, process serving for us. So she'll come to pick up a summons or whatever that needs to be served. And she's like, Oh, by the way, here, I, you know, I found these at Dollar Tree and I, I knew we needed to get them before we, they were gone if we wanted them. And she has no 
concept of moderation. <laughs> She's one of those that, you know, oftentimes I will um, curse uh, when I'm looking for something specific at Dollar Tree that I know that they should have. She's one of those that, you know, oh, hey, they've got them on the shelves. Let's clear them out. I'm training her. I I'm getting her trained to do a little bit better. Um, the last, since the first of the year, she's done much better and only gotten a couple of this or a couple of that. But we still have multiples because we don't always check with one another. We just like, oh, got to grab it while it's there. <laughs> so anyway, enough about our craziness there. So with the um, with this, I took these flowers and bunched them up, wrapped twine around them uh, to cover the stems and make it look a little bit neater and you know more finished. I left tails on it when I wrapped it so that I could tie it to the back here. And I got, um, so I trimmed that off and then, um, oh, yep, I got, <laughs> and then I think I, yeah, I tweaked the flowers a little bit more, trying to get them a little more situated there where, the, you know, they pop. And I think I tweaked it even more after I was finished, um, before I took the pictures, but that's the way it goes. Um, flowers and bows, you're constantly tweaking. <laughs> constantly tweaking it to, to get it, you know, the way you want it. So I took and just uh, made a loop and knotted it at the bottom and glued it to the back for a hanger. And then, um, that was, I don't know, was I, I think I, while I was waiting for that glue to set, I tweaked the flowers some more. See, as crafters, we do a lot of tweaking with flowers and bows, let me tell you. Fluffing, tweaking, straightening, whatever. Um, so then I took some of the, the moss there and added it along the bottom. Once I got done playing with the flowers. Oh my lord. I guess I can't play with them enough. <laughs> oh, I was putting a little bit of glue there to, to hold it on the front side too. So I put some of this moss. Um, I actually prefer the Spanish moss, but it's been hard to find lately. This stuff is even messier than Spanish moss. And Spanish moss is messy, but it's not a bunch of little tiny, you know. This is messy. But I put some of it down, uh, glued it down to the bottom, across the bottom of it. Um, and then off camera, I took um, some hairspray to help keep it from getting too unruly. <laughs> The hairspray will help hold um, what may not have come in contact with the glue. But yeah, these these are some of the moss and stuff that you get is is rather messy. I thought this was this one came out really cute too. Um, I'm kind of wishing I had gotten more than one bunch of those flowers because those are really cute. But there's only so many patriotic DIYs I can get done between now and, and July 4th. Because, you know, technically we should be two to three months ahead of whatever holiday or season that we're crafting for. Um, at least for listing on websites and Etsy and stuff like that, you need to have stuff listed. A decent amount um, before the holiday or season depending on you know what it is so here I took this um, this blue and silver ribbon um, it's really pretty ribbon 
but it's really not very friendly for trying to make a bow. I tried to do the shoestring bow and it just, it was really, it came out really wonky and nothing I did fixed it. So um, I ended up doing the awareness ribbon, scrunching it down using twine to secure it. And then I wrapped some more of the, the ribbon around to cover the twine. And that worked out. It worked out okay. I'm still not 100% happy with with the bow. Um, some of the really pretty ribbons sometimes is just not as easy to do these things with. This one's really, um, it's really silky and slick. So, yeah, it's, it, it's a challenge. And more times than not, bows are a challenge for me anyway. There are some days that I can go through and, you know, no problem, zip through, make the bow, comes out great. And there are other times that I'm just like, ah, it's not working, I'm having issues, you know, it's okay. That too is part of crafting. So, give me a heart in the comments if, uh, if you struggle with bows sometimes too. <laughs> I know I'm not alone out there. I've seen plenty of other YouTube creators uh, struggle with the bows at times too. And now we're on to DIY number five. This one's pretty quick, pretty simple. I took two of the, um, took a, the salt and pepper shakers that you can get at Dollar Tree and <clears throat> I painted one of them in the cashew and one of them in the ocean. Now, I know that a lot of, um, a lot of times painting glass, metal, plastic, um, it doesn't always adhere very well or it chips off easy or, you know, whatever. Sometimes there's, there's a lot of issue. I do find that when I paint anything like that with chalk paint, it usually turns out fine. I don't have any issues with the paint adhering. And these are both chalk paints that I'm using. So I just took in, um, I painted one in the cashew. I painted the other one with the Waverly Ocean. And my cashew is like really, really thick. I don't know. I, I mean, I've had it for a while. So that's a big bottle and I've just recently started using it more regular than, um, than I had before. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually going to get to use all of the paint or if it's going to get even thicker and, and harder to deal with. Who knows? We'll, we'll see as time goes by. But here, um, just taking and hitting the other one with the blue. And then once those are dry, I went in um, and distressed them. Well, I thought I was closer to being done painting than that. I guess it helps. I'm talking faster than, you know, it's okay. Sometimes I get wordy and have no problem chit-chatting through the, the video. And then other times I'm like, uh, what do I say? There, there are days that, uh, especially if it's a during the week, which this is, um, thankfully I'm not struggling with it, but I work in the law office. So a lot of times, um, I have a hard time switching from legal, you know, legal speak and legal writing to creative speak and creative writing. It's, um, 
some days are more difficult than others to switch the brain back and forth. Um, <clears throat> so with these, I took uh, with the white or the it, the cream color whitish bottle. Um, I went with red and blue flowers for it, and um, with the blue bottle, I went with red and white flowers for it. And I kind of got backwards on this. Um, with this one, I cut the flowers and, and did all that first and then wrapped the twine around the top of the bottle. Um, and then the other one, I, I while I was wrapping twine, I wrapped it around the top and then went back to doing the flowers for it. So I just wrap it around there. Um, I thought about putting something in the in them to to stick the flowers in and then thought nah this way at least um, I can interchange them they don't have to stay strictly patriotic I can kind of interchange them on the on my tiered tray but as you can see here I'm wrapping the, the twine around the top of the bottle here and then just glue it off, snip it, and you've seen it all before. I had to make sure that that was good and flush, and then um, wrap the other one. And then I took the lighter and burned some of the fuzzies off of both of them. And one thing that I missed while I was recording was... Um, I did like a little shoestring bow on the front of each of these two. Um, I did that off camera because it dawned on me. I went to take the the photo for the um, final reveal and realized, oh, it's missing something. It needs a bow. So the final reveal will show the bow on it. But here I'm just taking and burning off some of the the excess there or the flyaways whatever you want to call them and then here I was trying to decide if I wanted to put some of that in there or not I decided against it took a couple of or I think I took one sprig each of the, the red and, and the white stuck it in that bottle I think I wrapped those off camera too. Um, the twine just kind of helps keep them gathered the way I want them. But anyway, here's the final reveal. And I really can't decide which one is my favorite. I think the rag flag is my favorite, honestly. I don't know. It's hard to decide. Comment, uh, leave your favorite in the comments below. I, I, I'm curious to see what everybody, which one everybody picks as their favorite. Don't forget to check out the playlist. Um, check out Tasha's channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share on all the videos. Because um, all of us in this collab and whatnot appreciate all of you thanks for watching